I take a lot of pictures and video, and one of the things I hate is trying to find the right album. Now, you can sort your album alphabetically, but that doesn't work because things like the camera would then end up in the C's way down here, and things like pictures I took on Alaska will end up top, and that's good, but I don't need to see those pictures that often. So I prefer this customized view, but even in this customized view, it's very difficult sometimes for me to figure out which folder it is. I know I can read and take a look at it, but it just takes a while to go back and forth, and it drives me nuts. There's got to be a way to assign a specific image to each album, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hi, I'm Orman, aka The High Tech Nomad, and welcome to another video. As we always say here, if you want to learn how to make technology work for you, start now by clicking the subscribe button, and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a video. I'm going to show you how to assign a specific picture to be the main picture for your album, so it doesn't keep changing. I've already done it here with this one for Filmic Pro, so no matter what I do in this Filmic Pro album, that picture is going to stay here. The issue is that it takes the most recent picture and puts that as the first thumbnail. As I said, it's fine, but it keeps changing. For example, I take a picture by accident, it, this gets added, and then later on when I'm trying to find the album, I have no idea. This one, like, right here, I can find it. Find the Vilmic Pro icon. Boom, they're all set. Now find the uh, video captions. Ah, here it is though. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna change that right now. How does it do it? Each image has not only the location information, but it has a lot of other information in it, including the date the picture was taken, the last time it was modified, the location. There's a lot of stuff in there. Be careful. If you send an image to someone, you are sending them more than that. I had to add this picture because the picture I was going to use in the first demonstration had the location and the date and the time and had everything in there and that just wasn't going to be acceptable. That's how it determines, it embedded in each image is a whole bunch of information. All right? We're going to alter that information. We're going to tell it that this picture was taken in the future. Da, 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 da. We're going to tell it that this picture was taken in the year 2030. Now, by doing that, That'll put that over here because as far as that's concerned, that's the most recent photo. All the other photos will come after it, but this photo will stay in the number one spot. To do that, we're going to use a tool called EXIF or EXIF tool. I've used this before. I like the program. I cannot endorse it because as you know, if there's a problem, it turns out that it's run by Martians and they come to your house and get you, then I could be held liable. So I'm going to just tell you that this tool is here. I've used it, I haven't had any issues, I've checked it out, it seems like it's okay, but make your own decision. You're an adult now, as far as I know. So what you can do is take any image that you have, go in, and you'll see, see it has modified date, preview date, it has a lot of, has a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff that's crammed into the header of your image. So all I'm gonna do is you go in here and we're gonna say add new metadata. So it already has some, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say add new metadata. And then these are all the things you can add. You can add GPS information and where it was taken and what the compression was and the, uh, there's a ton of stuff in there. If, you, if you're interested, if you need a little light reading, you can check that out. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna just type in date and it's gonna give me four. The modified date, date time, create a date, preview date. I always just do all four. You probably only need to change one or two of these, but it's only four and we're lazy. Let's just do it. I've typed in date. We got four. Let's just go one, two, three, four. We're going to add three pieces of information. And it comes down and says, hey, you just added some information. You, you want to make uh, some changes to it there, pal? We're going to come over here and you'll see that it says new, 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 new. And it has a little button. It's ready for us to use. All we have to do is click on it and click on the date and just pick some date far in the future. I, I wouldn't pick two weeks from now for obvious reasons. I'm gonna just pick 2030 because I'm gonna assume that I'm not gonna still have this phone in 2030 and by then we will have figured out something else. So that's not a problem. And I'm gonna go here, we're gonna do 20, 2030? Yeah, there it is, 2030. And we've now added those pieces of information. It's written it back in and 
Bob's your uncle, we're all set. You can see it's now the first image. And if you go in and look at details, you'll see it says September 29th, 2030. So no matter what you do, let's go and take a new picture. No matter what you do, my friend, take a one, two, three, let's do another one here, four. No matter what you do, that's always gonna be the first image. Okay, so there we are. All the other ones will come after that, but that image will stay there. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10,000. There's so much more that we can do once we get to 10,000. So help us out. And if you have any questions, put it down below. We got a lot more stuff coming up. You probably noticed we have accelerated our posting schedule. We probably had like more videos in the last two weeks than you had in the last two months. So good for that. And until the next time, this is Ormond Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, signing out.